in the hotly contested school board election, it's narrowed down to two candidates from the overcrowded field of eight, Rita Lebeck and Keith Connolly. Connolly's slightly out in front of Lebeck, but the 4th District is pivotal. An interesting footnote, 20 years ago, Connolly and Lebeck were co-founders of the Citizens Brigade to end police corruption. Now they're on opposite sides of the political fence. Dashboard. Yeah. <laughs> well, the teachers have to take a role in it. They become too lenient. They let the kids get away with too much. What happened to the days when they used to just pop them with the ruler? Oh, it's late. I'm calling it. He won to victory. <laughs> yeah? A little premature, but hey, what the heck? I'm talking about going back to good old fashioned family values. That's right. You know, if I have to hear about another $2 million program of I'm special because I'm me program. That has nothing to do with test scores. I'm gonna pull my kid right out. I know, I know. We had to give in on this one or we wouldn't have got his endorsement. All right. So maybe it costs us the third district. What about the fourth? That's pivotal. Put that down, you'll scratch it. Well, someone's got to take control, and I do believe that Connolly can do it. You know, my Mercedes is parked right out front. After this is over, you want to go back to my place? <laughs> Excuse me, uh, do you have anything a little softer? You know, you really get maximum yield out of your premium brands. I'm very particular about my bathroom tissue. Oh, uh, what's the word on District 4? Nothing yet. Oh, um, just feel softer. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that sounds encouraging, but it's still too close to call. Wait there until the tally's final, and then get over here to celebrate. Hey, Dad, were you a hippie? Never liked that term. That hair. Don't you have homework to do? Yeah, you said you'd help me. You don't have to wait for me to start it. You know, it's just like your husband says, Margaret. These teachers are only interested and being politically correct and not being factually correct. Isn't that right, dear? That is correct. Mm. Um, excuse me, I, I, I've got to get that. Count on Connolly for accountability. <laughs> I have two boxes of these left over. Uh, maybe you should run in the next election so we can use them up. Kiss in the den. I knew I could count on you. You know, I was thinking, maybe we should have your wife run for the next school election. We have all the campaign materials. I'd be lucky if she's still my wife after this election. Huh? You'll be joking, right? What's that? The speech you drafted for me? The teachers are more concerned with their checkbooks than their roll books. Yeah. This is supposed to be a victory speech, not another campaign speech. We've already alienated the teachers' union enough. It's time to mend some fences. But it's a great line. Cut it. Tony? Ah, uh, kids don't show up. I gotta deliver my own pizzas. <laughs> you know, Keith's about ready to give his speech. Why didn't you go on? Oh, uh, no. I got a dozen more in the car to deliver. These damn kids, they just don't get it. <laughs> Is this a real gun in the picture? Can't you tell there's a flower in it? Okay, but you're not answering my question. Is it a real gun? Looking good, Margaret. Show your mother some respect. She said I could call her Margaret. Are you coming? It's your party. Yeah. I'm putting some final touches on the speech. How does this sound? It's not dollars and cents, but common sense that'll save our schools. Sounds like a slogan. Smells like bullshit. Watch your mouth. Free speech, Keith. Remember that? Yes? Ladies and gentlemen, we have your attention. Hello. May I present to you our next 
School Board President! Uh, You're jumping the gun, Harry. We have to take it one step at a time. The margin was too close. We have to have a runoff with Rita LeBeck next month. Oh. Come on, you guys. You're my posse. Let's get back on the trail. And I need your help. I need you. Our schools have become the wild, wild west. It's Dodge City out there. The administrators dodge responsibility. The teachers dodge responsibility. Even some of the parents dodge responsibility. And I aim to clean things up. Yeah. I could play the political wife, Keith. I could if I really felt you believed what you're saying. <laughs> well, how do you know what I believe? You're so... Uh, Dodge City. Oh, for Christ's sakes, Keith. Do you ever listen to that shit you're spouting? I don't think so. I don't think you believe it. And if you do, you're scaring me. Let's face it, Margaret. I just can't win with you. <sighs> Why is everything a contest? Times change. A common sense business approach is the only way. Oh, school... don't use your political stump speech on me. Uh, accountability? You want accountability? Why don't you replace all the teachers with robots, turn the school into a factory? You're twisting my words. What you don't understand is politics is compromise. You sold out. No, I didn't sell out. I got the mayor to back down. I went up against the city council. I changed things then, and I can change things now. So don't tell me I sold out. What happened to you? We're not kids anymore running the streets, Margaret. I'm so close. I need your support. Why are you in here playing games on my computer? Daddy should see this. Why aren't you in your room doing your homework? I did it. All of it? Yeah, almost. The math? I tried. Dad, come over here. I want to show you something. Go in your room and do your math. I'm stuck. You said last night you were going to come and help me. So I'm waiting for you to help me. Your room, Eric. Now. Fine. You're gonna come and help me, or are you just gonna stay down here working all night again? Your room. Now. Now. Stop. 
You late, sir. Point system. I'll check my record book. I and I'll get back am to not going to wait for you to check your roll book and get back to me. You are going to do this right now. I bet you don't have any kids of your own. Mm -hmm. What was your child's name? What's my child's name? You don't know who my child is. Student of the month. There you go. Compliance number 220. And here is the zero tolerance program regarding weapons on campus. Here we have used the emergency exits in case of a natural disaster. Uh, you have to fill out this form. You'll need a hepatitis B shot within two weeks. Uh, oh, avoid the bathrooms where they're working with the asbestos. Uh, use the porta potties. Oh, yes, and here is your credential renewal mandatory. Um, where do I go? Oh, you're traveling. Here are your new numbers. And yes, of course. Here is the child abuse form. You must fill out this form. You are obligated to report the slightest suspicion you have of child abuse. And here is your monthly allotment. <laughs> You're losing time. Your class is waiting. Remember, each minute counts. This is your Vice Principal Judith Turner speaking. It's been brought to my attention that there have been numerous water balloon fights erupting on campus. This is a reminder that water balloons are strictly forbidden. This is a high school, not a preschool. Uh, and over our begin the pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation. Today is Monday, so Group A gets the seats today. Ronnie, change that sleep day! Bullshit! Get up, man! Hey! Hey! What do you want? Is this room 101? Yes. 
I'm supposed to be in here so first period. So what do you want? Uh, all right now. Group B gets the textbooks and group A gets the pencils and papers. You know the drill and give back those inhalers, they're mine. Who are you? Uh, I, I, um... Are you from the school district coming to reallocate my supplies? No, no, no. Are you from the school board coming to announce layoffs? See, I'm here to teach the children. You see, I'm a traveling teacher, and I'm supposed to be in room 101, first period. This is no longer first period. We are on special schedule today due to staff development this afternoon. First period is second period, third period is fourth period. There will be no nutrition at nutrition, and lunch has been postponed until further notice. You can go back. You can go back now before it's too late. My mission is to teach the children. Be careful. Don't let anyone know you have these. drill instructions on page 32C as per state and district guidelines.
clean sweep. Mr. Conley, I am not through with you yet. Uh-oh, gotta go. My son has not failed since we put him on Ritalin. How dare you fail, my child? You are a terrible teacher. How dare you insult my family? Yo, I'll, I'll check my records and I'll get back, okay? Where are you going? Don't you dare leave me! I'm not finished with you yet! I want satisfaction! Have you thought about retirement? Are you aware that teachers are eligible for tax, shelter, and annuities? Mercury Mutual has a variety of packages designed to give maximum yield. God knows teachers aren't paid with their work. I used to be in the classroom. So, any tax break the government allows. You deserve. And what about inheritance tax? Have you thought about that highway ride? I am still waiting for that roll. They'll squeeze what? you at both ends. But at Mercury Mutual, we're on the cutting edge. We've got internet, we've got facts. Where's that roll book? We've got voicemail. We even read our snail mail. We've got lots of lawyers. You get maximum bang for your buck in any loophole. Where's that phone book? Did I say loophole? Uh, at Mutual Merc uh, Mercury Mutual. <laughs> um, no upfront payments. No balloon payments. You won't even feel the payments. Painless payments. That's what we have at Mercury Mutual. I uh, went to room 101 and it was... Like it or not, we're stuck with standardized testing. Now, I'm not saying teach to the test. No. Uh, but I do hope that uh, with these worksheets, you will be able to raise our scores from last year. Now, as you know, our ADA is down. So we have had to lump the LEPs and the ESLs, not to say anything of the ADDs. Now, the students taking the SATs will have to have help ASAP. Now, so, the PTSA and the NEA have combined to forge an RAP. What's an RAP? Well, how the hell am I supposed to know? This comes to me direct from the highest authorities downtown. Ah! I told you, I'll do it when I get back. Connolly, what the hell are you teaching my daughter? Evolution is a theory, and that is all it is. And I did not sign a release for sex education either. So, if I find another condom in her purse, I am going to rip off your balls and shove them down your throat! You are the reason for homeschooling, Connolly. You are not going to brainwash my kid with your homo advocacy and your degenerative curriculum any longer. I've got my lawyer, Steve. What do we got to nail this guy to the wall? Well, so far, we have criminal negligence, sexual harassment, Heterosexual discrimination. Put on your oxygen mask, Connolly. You're about to crash and burn. Let's go. And I see you got your first lawsuit. <laughs> but don't worry about it. You'll get used to it. Aw. There you go. Hey, All bye better bye. now. So, you know what it is? I said, I 
Quiet, please. Quiet, class. Please, class. Lumiere Silencie. Wait, long time. Quiet, class. Please, quiet. Quiet, please. I don't have to be doing this, you know. I've done a national commercial and I'm up for a soap. I don't get paid enough to be the target of abuse from a bunch of juvenile ingrates. Now, Mr. Nelson left explicit instructions that you are to read chapters 11 and 12, and answer the questions at the end of the chapter in reading for understanding. Dude, Mr. Nelson had to do that yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm Keanu Reeves. You're an imposter. Get out of my classroom. You don't even want to be here. You don't care about these kids. You're not a teacher. And you can't touch me. I'm the principal's nephew. shift in education, and we must be at the forefront. According to Bloom's taxonomy, there are different modalities. We must teach for understanding. Now, when I was in the classroom, we were each in our own little shell, protected from reality. But raising standards is tantamount to raising the Titanic. We're all deep sea divers, risking the bends to discover the treasures that lie beneath each and every one of our 
students. We're explorers in uncharted territories with a landscape that's ever changing. We must be each other's compass because as Edison said, genius is 10% inspiration, 90% perspiration. Stay awake. And I'm here making good money to make sure you stay awake. Most teachers today just don't get it. Don't sleep. Don't sleep. Stay awake. But you're here because you want to be. You're rising above the rest. You won't stand in front of a classroom anymore, lecturing, boring them to tears. You'll no longer be the sage on the stage. You'll be the guide on the side. The wizards in the blizzards. Wizards. The blisters in the twisters. Blisters. As John Dewey said, you don't need a weatherman to know which way the wind blows. Most of our profession are content to be leaf blowers, just moving dead leaves around. Metaphor over the Soiling other people's yards. As Faulkner said, creating a lot of sound and fury, signifying nothing. But you've chosen to orchestrate this paradigm shift, and I am your conductor. Conductor. It's common sense, not dollars and cents we need. Teachers can no longer dodge responsibility. We must get rid of the dead wood. Dead wood. No! believe the shit you're spouting? I don't think so. Mm. You just don't get it. You can't handle the paradigm shift. Shift. Shift this, you arrogant prick! What about the kids? This is not about the kids. This is about transforming education. How many education awards have you won, you pathetic little plebe? Shove it.
didn't answer my question. Is it a real gun? What? I, um, uh, I was, um, I was just checking on you. Did, uh, did you finish your homework? Yep. No thanks to you. Hey, that's not my responsibility. I'm sorry. I, uh... What's the matter? Um, nothing. What's this? It's for my art history class. I actually scanned something when I was in your office today from your computer. I think it's an old picture of you. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Mom's always telling me about when you guys were in college and all. I wish I had been there. You know, back then, people stood up for what they believed in. I mean, you stood up for what you believed in.